day two of Lit Circles. I hope you're enjoying your books. I'm so excited to hear about them. Today, you're going to be focusing on direct and indirect characterization. Again, this is something that we've talked about. We're just reviewing it today. So as a review, direct characterization is when you get a statement or fact about the character you know something about, their personality or how they're feeling, and you know that because there is a direct quote in the text to show you. It tells you right there. That's a direct characterization. Now, an indirect characterization is when it's not right there. You can still figure out what they're thinking or feeling, but it's because you're making an inference based on clues that you're being given in the text. Those are a little bit trickier. So, I could say, Joe is having fun at the party. And that would be direct characterization because you know directly he's having fun. You've got a quote you can pull out to show it. I could make that indirect by saying, um, you know, Joe was laughing and smiling and dancing all night. Makes me think he's enjoying himself, he's having a good time. I would indirectly characterize them that he's having fun because that wasn't said, but I can still make that inference. Um, to reverse that, an indirect characterization would be no matter what he read, every time Dylan opened a book, he'd be snoring in five minutes. So that kind of, you can make an inference from that, how he feels, or we could come out directly and say, Dylan thinks reading is boring, that would be a direct characterization. Now, when you're working on these indirect characterizations, you can follow the steel model. Think about these five things. S for speech, what are they saying? T for thoughts. If you have a third person limited or omniscient narrator who can tell you what they're thinking about, think about that as well. Um, e for the effect they have on others. How do people react to them? What are they saying? A for actions, what are they doing? And L for looks, what do they look like? Expressions on the face or what they're wearing. All of those are gonna help you make inferences about that character. They're gonna help you make indirect characterizations. So, Sonia is very smart. Let's make that indirect. How can we say she's very smart without actually saying it? I could say Sonia's gotten A's on all her reading tests this year. I could infer that she must be really smart, but I wouldn't have actually said it. I could say, Eva is clumsy. That's direct. Give you a direct quote, oh look, she's clumsy. Or I could say, um, Eva said, ouch, as she banged her leg into the desk, adding to the collection of bruises already on her leg. So I could assume then that she must have bumped her leg a lot of times to have all these bruises. She probably is really clumsy. I'm making an indirect characterization in that case. Um, oh yeah, okay, or we can go the other way. I'll give you the indirect one. Martha warned Toby, she'll never know who broke the window unless somebody says something, okay? I can make an inference based on this about Martha, or I could just make it really direct and say, Martha is sneaky. That tells you straight out, you don't have to make the inference like you would in this indirect characterization. When she heard her baby crying last night, she just gritted her teeth and turned up her iPod. Okay, that's all indirect. We're gonna have to infer about her based on that. Or I can make it more direct, and say she's really frustrated with her child, or she's really tired. Those are all things that might make her act this way. That would be a more direct characterization of someone. Okay, let's do one more example. Kelvin found a wallet on the ground. He opened up the wallet and saw an old woman's ID card. Kelvin took the ID card out of the wallet, walked to the woman's house, and returned the wallet to her. Okay, so what characteristic can we give to Kelvin? What do we know about him based on this? I would say he's probably, he's honest. He's an honest guy. This is all indirect, but it's helping me infer that he must be honest because he could have kept that wallet, he could have kept everything in it, but he went and took it back to her. So it gives me the inference I can make that he is an honest guy. Okay, so you're gonna be working on your lit circles today. When you get to your reader sheet, or direct and indirect characterization on the back and take a look at this. It's asking you to give some direct characterizations about your, the characters in your book. So you're gonna have to find a quote that tells me exactly how they're feeling or exactly what's going on with them, where you can give me a direct quote. And then down below, you're making indirect characterizations. So maybe it doesn't come out and tell you that somebody is really angry all the time or somebody is upset by something, but you could say, I know they're upset, and then give me a little explanation of how you know that, what the evidence is that got you there. Good luck.